Happy Thursday, my fellow strangers. It's Mrs. Strange here. On today's episode for Stranger Universe, I will talk about the new official poster for Stranger Things 4 that has the entire cast of characters. Before we start, please like, share, and subscribe to see more episodes from Stranger Universe. Please turn on your notifications to attend video premieres and get a chance to interact with Mrs. Strange and other Stranger fans. Help get this episode to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Please don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our Strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. And now, let us begin. Sure. It also has great characters and a talented cast, but a large part of the appeal of Netflix's smash hit Stranger Things is 80s nostalgia, as creators the Duffer Brothers have concocted the show's mythos by lovingly, or shamelessly, depending on your point of view, pilfering from that decade's cache of pop culture, everything from E.T. to X-Men comics. The series returns for its fourth season later this month and, if this new poster's anything to go by, it'll lean into the horror side of things more than ever. The official Stranger Things Twitter account shared the eye-popping poster, which comes from veteran Stranger Things promotional artist Kyle Lambert, along with the caption, asterisk screams and Demogorgon asterisk the wait is almost over. Volume 1, May 27. This serves as a reminder that the first half of Stranger Things 4 is due out in just over two weeks' time. The poster features the full intergenerational cast of heroes, from Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven to David Harbour's Hopper. The crux of the image is the Creel House, the creepy haunted abode that was once the site of a brutal massacre in the 1950s. As we've seen in the trailers, the house's evil will reawaken 30 years later, and it's all tied into a new monstrous villain, Vecna, the creature looming in the background of this poster. There's some definite Stephen King vibes going on in both this image and the storyline of Stranger Things 4 and Vecna's disfigured face is giving us Freddy Krueger flashbacks. Which is pretty fitting, in fact, as Freddy himself Robert Englund has a role this year, playing Victor Creel, the insane asylum inmate at the center of the Creel House mystery. I've seen some criticism online that this poster is underwhelming compared to the past three seasons and their final posters, mostly due to the lack of symmetry and some of the characters looking a bit funny. While I still feel that the poster for season 3 was better, this poster is still great and establishes the tone as being darker and grittier than previous seasons. I find it very interesting that only Argyle and Eddie are the new characters being featured on this poster, but it makes sense because they got their own character posters. Jamie Campbell Bower is nowhere to be seen though, and that has me curious to see if Peter Ballard has a bigger role than we think. Here's hoping that season 4 doesn't disappoint. Overall, very exciting times. And that is all that we have for today. What did you think about this final poster for Stranger Things 4? Today's special shoutout is for Eastlaw. Comment down below to become our next special Stranger Universe shoutout. And don't forget to follow us at It's Stranaverse on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated with us every day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stranger Universe. Please turn on notifications to never miss another Stranger Universe episode again. Help get this video to 1000 views and likes if you really want to see us release more Stranger Universe episodes like this one. Don't forget to share this video across all social media platforms to help fans and viewers join our Strange family and find this great Stranger Universe content. This episode was brought to you by Mrs. Strange, and this is Stranger Universe.